What is going on guys? My name is Crimson Seabed and today we are having a PU battle against my buddy Magnitude. If you don't know who he is, get the hell off my channel and go check his stuff out because this man is a legend in this community. So please, the link to his Twitter and his YouTube are gonna, are gonna be in the description and I need to plug this in because the last thing I need is for my battle to not go through. So we're having a PU battle and if you are excited, please make sure you smash that like button. We're gonna shoot for 20 likes on this Wi-Fi battle because I am absolutely hyped to be able to get to battle mag again. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. And he is bringing, all right, let me take a picture of that. He's bringing Aurorus, Golduck, Bufalant, Vespaquen, uh, Cosplay, Pikachu, and Torkoal. Um, right off the bat, I can get some damage in. I'm gonna lead off with uh, Butterfree because we can Quiver Dance. We can Quiver Dance and get some damage off. That, that's my big that's my big primary concern um we can do a lot of damage let's see well we also have tinted lens and if you don't know what tinted lens is not effective moves normally like if it's resisted it does half tinted lens makes it so non-resistant moves do normal amount of damage which is a really good ability really really good ability and if i don't know what tinted lens means like if i just gave you guys the wrong description of an ability please let me know please let me know down in the comment section because I really don't want to give you guys, like, shitty advice when you guys go to battle. Because I have people who come to my channel to watch me battle and be good at it. So, like I said, correct me, please. Correct me, correct me, correct me, please. Um, my prediction is actually the Torkoal is about to come through. And set up some rocks. Boofalant. Boofalant. That's my impression of a Boofalant, ladies and gentlemen. Take it as you will. Now that's a Sap Saper Bufalon if I've ever seen one. So it actually makes me unable to go for a Giga Drain after I Quiver Dance. Super, super unfortunate, but a good play on his part. Definitely a good play on his part. Let's go straight up for the head charge. Um, if it's reckless, we're gonna. If it's reckless, we're not gonna see any damage. Now, if this thing has quick attack, mind you. If this thing is quick attack... Okay, so we see he's not reckless, unless that was Life Orb. I missed it. I was looking down at my phone. Um, let me check my moves. Okay, Bug Buzz is actually going to be my best bet. As far as knocking this thing out. We can't go for a set. We can't go for a Giga Drain because it is Sap Sever. He withdraws the Bufalot, so we could have went for a Giga Drain there. So whatever's coming in, Vespaquen is not going to want to take this Bug Buzz. Vespaquen is not going to want to take this bug buzz. Um, our best bet is actually going to go for a Psychic right here. We're going to go for a Psychic. We're plus one. We saw how much that bug buzz did, and that was a lot. Um, attack order. That's going to be a dead uh, Butterfree. That's going to be a dead Butterfree. So we were able to get, look at the damage that that Bug Buzz got off though, that's nuts. Absolutely nuts. So we just need something that's faster than Vespaquen, honestly. And I think that is going to be our uh, Karakasta. Hmm, what do I want to do here? What can you do to me is the question. Um, I am gonna go on a Caracosta, honestly. We can get a uh, we can get a nice little uh, Aqua Jet off really quick. On the off chance we survive and he gets like a Giga Drain off. Toxic. Okay. Okay. Toxic's a thing. Toxic is a thing, unfortunately. Um. But we can, we can, we can, we can just Aqua Jet again and get this thing out of the way. What is Vespaquen? Vespaquen? Vespaquen is slow, actually. Um, so if I predict a sw I'm just gonna Aqua Jet. I don't want to reveal any other moves that I have to him just yet. So we're just gonna go for an Aqua Jet. He is gonna take- he is gonna go down. So we are gonna face more poison damage, unfortunately. Um, if he tries to go into Pikachu... Pikachu could come in and go for a Thunderbolt, which we could live. Oh, man. Because we have that ability. I don't remember the ability. Was that in the Golduck, actually? 
Uh, the effects of weather disappeared. Oh, okay, that's good to know because we do have the hail on our, um... We do have the hail up. So we're gonna get a knockoff. He actually goes for a substitute. So we see he outspeeds. This knockoff is gonna take out his sub. Is Goldog not water psychic? Or am I dumb? Because normally it says super effective. Goldock's only water. Okay. Uh, let's go for another knockoff really quick then. He could just like sub stall us, I guess, but there's no point in that. He's gonna go for a calm mind actually, so we are gonna knock off whatever's coming our way. Whatever he's holding. So lefties do come through. Um, we need to get Caracosta out of here, actually. So I'm going to switch out to Mr. Oinkers. Uh, Mr. Oinkers is our Grumpig. He carries that Assault Vest on him, so if he decides to go at me again, uh, we can take it, like with a Scald or something. We're max specially defense invested. We carry that Assault Vest. Actually goes to the Psy Shock, yo. Good play. Good play, good play, good play. Um, we are going to resist that, though. So, 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 so. Um, looking at his team, he doesn't have anything unnecessarily. Charge Beam is going to do twice as much, um, but he could go into the Pikachu. There's a lot of options we have, so we're just going to go for an extra sensory. He's going to set up the sub. Um, let's hope this extra sensory breaks it. Now I kind of regret not going for that Charge Beam, honestly. Break it, 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 break it. It was a crit. The crit breaks the sub. Yes! Yes! Okay, so we get through the sub. Um, I'm just going to go for another extra sensory here, honestly. He can try to keep it in. He can't switch out. He's going to go for a... Ooh, Surf. Surf's so powerful. Surf's so powerful. We are going to take out the gold duck with the extra sensory, which is definitely going to be a plus because I don't like it when things set up. I really don't. Um, so Lefty, he's got the Amoris, the Bouffalant, the uh, Cosplay Pikachu, and the Torkoal. Um, if I had to guess what's coming in, I'd say... The Bouffalant. Pikachu, actually. Cosplay Pikachu comes out. Now, I don't know what Cosplay Pikachu wants to do to me, actually. Um... So I'm just gonna keep going with the extra sensories. Let's throw a wild charge. That's a physical Pikachu. That is a super physical Pikachu. Holy crap. Um, seeing that makes me want to go into uh, Incarnate the Meowstic. And we need to get a Reflect off really quick. Because that's a lot of damage. We need to get a Reflect off really quick. Um, and if this thing carries Brick Break too, that's going to suck. That is going to really suck. Look how cute that is, though. I need a cosplay Pikachu. I want a cosplay Pikachu. Me. I want it. So let's see. Uh, it just goes for a T-Wave. It's a solid play, honestly. Um, but I think Prankster breaks through the T-Wave. So we can actually... Let's set up a light screen while we're out here. Let's set up a screen. He's going to withdraw Pikachu. Um, solid play, honestly. And he's going to go on to Torkoal. Now is when we get the ability. Um, I predict the rocks are going to come through. Now is when we get that chance to switch out into Caracosta. So we're going to switch. We can take a hit. I don't know what he, if he wants to toss anything at me, but we can definitely take that hit. Um, because we have both sets of screens up. And, uh, yep, there come the rocks. There come the rocks. So we do get a free switch in on a Karakasta. Now, if I predict right, and he ends up switching out, um, I'm just gonna go for... I'm gonna go for a rock slide here, honestly, if he switches out. Because, or he could protect to Toxic Stall me. He stays in, we go for the Rock Slide, it's Stab, it's super effective. Let's see what kind of damage this does to Torkoal. Uh, it does a little more than half. We do, the Flinch Hacks do come through. 
So we see he carries leftovers on the Torkoal. Um, I'm going to want to Rock Slide one more time. I'm going to want to Rock Slide one more time because I think Poison Damage will... Um, that crit mattered. That crit mattered. Steve, even after you block me and unfriend me and everything else, just remember, I will always love you, and I am sorry. I am so sorry. Ah. I've got, I've got nothing to say. I've got absolutely nothing to say. That crit mattered. You guys saw how much the first one did. That crit mattered. Quick attack outspeeds my uh, Aqua Jet, so that's going to be a dead uh, Caracasta. Either way, crit. Crit for crit. Crit for crit. That crit didn't matter, though. Um, I'm going to go out into Coca-Cola here. And I'm going to... Do I want to set up the hail? I don't want to take a chance, honestly, and set up the hail. So I am just going to go for a nice ice punch. He's going to T-wave me. So, that is unfortunate, but we can get a nice Ice Punch off on this thing. Uh, let's see how much this wants to do. Ice Punch is going to take out the Pikachu. So, now we have left, we've got that Bufalon, and we've got the, um... We've got Bufalon, we got... A Morris left. We've got Bufalon and a Morris. And we still have our screens up. Um, head charge is normal. Let's go for an ice punch. I think with reflex and everything, we should mega horn. Misses the mega horn. The ice punch is gonna come through. Um, I don't know if he expected me to switch right there, but the reflect wears off, unfortunately. Um, let's go for a stone edge here. Let's uh, let's do some a bit more damage. Goes for another mega horn. He misses the second mega horn. Steve, I'm sorry. If you don't, if you don't talk to me ever again, I understand. I absolutely understand. So this is a choice banded mega horn. We see that much. So I'm gonna set up screens one more time. Hopefully get that off. Oh, the Parahex. Parahex. Parahex are a real thing. That Megahorn's going to come through. That's going to be a dead uh, Meowstic. That's going to be a dead Meowstic. So now it comes down to if Driftlim can honestly take out the Amoris and the Bufalon. gonna come down to that um i'm not gonna go we do take 25 percent to rocks um i am just gonna go for a t-bolt here we do outspeed so the bufalon's gonna go down so it's gonna come down to if we can pull some shenanigans with the amoris i don't think we're gonna be able to pull this off guys because we don't have any screens up and both of amoris's stabs are super effective against us Um, I'm honestly going to go for a Shadow Ball and see where it takes us. Because Refrigerator Roros is a real thing. So let's just go for a Shadow Ball, see what that brings us to. Oh, this thing's a special defensive tank. We do not have this in the bag at all. Freeze Dry is a real thing. Freeze Dry is a real thing, and that is going to be game. That was a super close match. Shout out to Aurorus. Aurorus is the real MVP, bringing it through in the end. Steve, thank you so much for that battle. Um, that would have been a lot more in your favor if it weren't for the hack, so I do apologize about that. Like I said, guys, make sure you go check out Steve's channel, uh, youtube.com slash magnitude, at magnitude on Twitter. I'll link to all his good stuff down there. Um, that being said, guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We've got Oris Wi-Fi battles. We've got Five Nights at Freddy's. We've got the Pokemon Blue Randomizer Nuzlocke, and that's about it for me, guys. If you like this battle, please make sure you poke that like button. Show me that you like it, because... It means a lot to me to know that you guys like my stuff. So that being said, guys, my name is Crimson Seabad, and I will talk to you all soon. Later.